Hey Cornerstone Kids, welcome back to day three of our Christmas countdown where we are lighting the candles of Advent. Now today we are focusing on the love candle. So what I need you guys to do as a family is pause this video, get out your Bibles and read Luke 2, 1 through 7. Then hit play again and I will recap for all of us. Robes, yeah. Robes and hot chocolate. That's what oh, it. good. You did find it. I did. I did. <laughs> it's a little different this year, but you know what? It's going to be great. It's okay. It'll still be special. <laughs> there we go. All right. Story time. Okay. Luke 2. We're going to read about how God gave us baby Jesus. In those days, Caesar Augustus made a law. It required that a list be made of everyone in the whole Roman world. Everyone went to their own town to be listed. And the king's rule meant that everybody had to take a trip back to the place that they came from. So right before Mary was supposed to have her baby, Joseph and Mary had to go on a long, long, long trip to Bethlehem. <laughs> yep, that's right. But they didn't have a car like we do. Did they have a plane? <laughs> mm -mm. They actually had to ride on a donkey. Whoa. You know, the yee haw, yee haw. Yee haw, yee That's right. <laughs> and when they got to Bethlehem, everybody else had come back too. So that means there were no hotels or guest rooms for them. So that means Mary and Joseph had to stay in a place with all the animals. Would you want to sleep next to a sheep? Mm mm. That'd be bad. 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 <laughs> All right. Now, while Joseph and Mary were in Bethlehem, the time came for the child to be born. She gave birth to her firstborn. It was a boy. She wrapped him in large cloths. Then she placed him in a manger. Yeah. God loves us so much that he gave us baby Jesus. That's right. And to celebrate that, we're going to light this special candle to remember how much God loves us. Do you think you can help me? Yeah, you can do it. There yeah, you go. Good job. <laughs> good job. Come here. Your mom's going to get your sister. <laughs> you see your sister? Be gentle, be gentle. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. job. <laughs> Great job, everybody. Now, from a human perspective, this whole situation must seem crazy to Mary and Joseph. Not only was Mary expecting the baby who would save the entire world, I mean, that's pretty crazy in and of itself, but now she and Joseph had to travel to Bethlehem for a census. So when they arrive, there's no room for them to stay except for the place they keep the animals, and I'm sure it didn't really smell that great. So as hectic as this might have seemed, this is exactly how God wanted Jesus to enter the world. God wanted to have a relationship with us. Even when we messed that up with our sin, God continued to love and make a way to rescue each and every one of us. So Jesus is the proof that God loves us unconditionally. And that is incredible that the God who created the entire universe loves you and your family unconditionally. And so again, uh, we're going to move to our ask section of our family devotional today. So I have three questions I want you guys to talk about as a family. Number one, what are we giving others this Christmas? Let me say that one more time. What are we giving others this Christmas? So again, you can talk about as a family, what are you guys doing for others this Christmas, whether it's volunteering your time, maybe you uh, bought gifts for a family in need. So what are you doing as a family to help others this Christmas? Question number two, how does it make you feel knowing God loves you so much? So again, as a family, as an individual, knowing that the God of the universe sent his son to die for you, how does that make you feel that he loves you 
that much. And the last one, question number three, is how can we show God's love to others? So again, as a family and as an individual, how can you show God's love to others this Christmas season? So again, pause this video, answer those three questions, and hit play again. So awesome job, guys, uh, asking those questions and answering them as a family. So we're moving to our do activity. We're gonna light the hope, joy, and love candles. So hopefully you have your snowflake from your advent packets. So I have my joy and my hope candles on there already. And now I'm going to add my love candle. So again, pause this video, light all three candles, hit play again so we can pray. All right, Kids families, once again, I wanna thank you so much for uh, being involved in this devotional. I think it speaks volumes that you guys are taking time today, this week, to celebrate Christmas, uh, most importantly because it's the day where Jesus came to this earth. And so let me pray for you guys before we go today. Uh, so dear God, thank you for showing your love by sending your son Jesus. You kept your promise to send a savior and you sent him at just the right time. Help us to always remember how much you love us, so much that you sent your son to rescue us and help us remember the true meaning of Christmas as we celebrate with our friends and our family. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus name everyone said, amen. All right guys, well this is day three. We have day four and five coming up this week. Hope you have a great rest of your day and we'll see you tomorrow.